Welcome back to Shaw Spotlight. I'm here with Cindy Sakiyama from Kitty Care because we all know even though COVID is around, cats still need to be adopted and cared for. So Kitty Care is doing a great job of that during COVID. Well, it's changed quite a bit in, in that in the last couple of weeks in particular, we weren't allowed to enter animal services building because of the risk of COVID. So prior to that though, since April, we had been doing adoptions in the building uh, using the proper distancing and wearing masks and having a potential adopter meet the cat there. Uh, but of late, we have to, we're not allowed in, so we've had to bring the cat out of the building and meet in a different location in order for the cat to be introduced to the potential. So with animal services, if they're, are they not, they're not open during COVID, so what, what happens to the cats? What happens to stray cats right now? That's the unfortunate thing. They decided, we learned through Facebook posts in March, April, that they were not accepting stray and abandoned cats. They would accept injured and sick cats, but the stray and abandoned, they would not accept. So we were quite upset about that because that meant that motherless kittens and mums, pregnant mums and other adult cats would be left out in the open. And these aren't feral cats. These are family cats that have been abandoned and lost and haven't been claimed. So um, fortunately, in about three weeks later, Animal Services arranged with the Humane Society uh, to take some of these cats um, so that if a finder picks up the cat in their neighborhood, they could bring the cat out to the Humane Society. But we find that that's a challenge to many of our finders because that's a distance to go. Mm -hmm. And the animal control officers won't pick them up and take them out there. So uh, it's been a really difficult and challenging and emotional time for us. So how is Kitty Care adapted to this? How is Kitty Care helping? Well, we try to voice our, our opinion to the city hall. And uh, we've also had a petition, but um, we believe that it's just part of the picture of the cutbacks mm -hmm. that they're trying to not shelter cats anymore because of uh, their budget and limited budget. So we've been working around it. We, uh, when there's a cat that needs to be fostered, the animal care attendant lets us know and we, um, she takes a picture because we can't go in and we try to find a foster. Same similarly with cats that need to be adopted. Um, we post them on our website and people can see what the cat looks like if the cat is living in a foster home, then uh, we don't go into the foster home because we want to respect the mm -hmm. uh, social distancing and masking. So we, we pick them up and take them to a location, usually a pet store, and they can be introduced to a potential adopter there. So we're working around things. We're trying to find a way to, to get our cats moving and into, into homes. For sure. Now, and right now, seeing as a lot of people are working at home, it is a good time to adopt an animal because it's that you can get used to the animal because you are at home with it. Right, We've, and we found that our adoptions have increased, uh, which is wonderful because these cats are looking for homes. And it's great for people because it's lonely mm -hmm. and, it, and cats can provide the companionship and the routine and the love uh, for people who, who are reaching out and need that. Mm -hmm. I've been working at home since March and it's always a big joke that my cat's my cat, my co-worker because she sits behind me and she keeps me company all day. So yeah, I can, I totally agree with you. I think cats are great company. Um, so you do have some cats up for adoption with kitty care. That's correct. So how, how can people find out where, um, what cats you have and, and what is the adoption process? Well, we have um, several on our website that are available for adoption. This one, <laughs> little one isn't, although we, I adopted her out, she was a foster, adopted her out. Uh, family dynamics changed, so we had to rehome her, of course I couldn't let her go again. This is Sophia, but we have several on our website um, which are available, in, uh, age ranging from um, four months up to seniors, and they are all looking for homes, and any description about their, their temperament is also posted on the website. If people are interested, we suggest that they email kittycare2010 at hotmail.com. That way we have a paper trail and we know when the person inquired 
and we can screen them because we just don't let them go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then uh, find out more about them and whether the cat's a good match. Now we don't have an adoption fee. We just ask for a donation because we believe that everybody who wants to have something to love, regardless of their income, can have a pet. And so that works really well for us. For some reason, we're still doing well financially <laughs> um, because of our donors and our supporters. And if the person's interested in fostering because they don't want the long-term commitment, there's an application on our website and they can uh, fill that in and send it in and we'll, when we need a foster, we'll be in contact. Well, I think it's one of the nice things that Kitty Care does is that you make sure that it's a good match with the with the cat and um, its forever home, just to make sure that you want everyone to be happy when you adopt an animal. Correct, and we have denied applications. And uh, when we first started, we have gone back to the home and taken the cat back <laughs> because we weren't really sure what we were doing back then. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we want what's best for the cat and what's best for the person. Uh, the animals trust us. They trust us to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And if people have any questions, they can just email you if they have any questions. What about what about people who have lost a cat? Like, say their cat has died and they have extra food, cat litter, or anything like that. Do you accept donations like we that? Sure do. Animal Services doesn't at this time because they're shut down uh, to us. Although, um, if they, I thought you were going to say lost a cat, they can report a lost cat by going there and reporting one. But um, as far as food donations and, and foster supplies, just email us as well or call us and um, uh, we'll accept those, those donations. Well, Cindy, thank you so much for taking care of our cat population during this trying time in COVID-19. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity and we'll send pictures along. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much, Cindy.